Denise Gwen, reading aloud for you from my novel, The Greasy Spoon, Chapter 3. But as Nick sits here in the greasy spoon, feeling as obvious and as unwelcome as a pimple on a beauty queen's cheek, he sincerely wishes he'd forced Ed to see his point. A truck driver walks into the diner, nods at the waitress. She smiles a greeting. He rumbles over to the counter and heaves himself onto a stool. <clears throat> the waitress pours him some coffee before dropping the menus down in front of Ed and Nick. Nick glances up at her and catches a baleful glare. She makes no effort to conceal it. She doesn't care that he sees the look on her face. She turns on her heel and walks back to the counter to talk to her truck driver, gentleman caller. Ed holds the menu daintily between his fingers. What's the matter with you? Nick asks. I just can't believe. Nick picks up his menu cracks open the brittle, lacquered spine and studies it. This menu has been in circulation for many years, and while the prices have crept up, instead of ordering new menus, the owner has used whiteout tape to cover over the old prices. He printed the new prices neatly beside the whited out old prices and then stuffed the menu back into the brittle and cracking double-bound plastic sleeve. What are you going to order? Ed asks, then chuckles under his breath. What's safe to eat here that won't give me a case of botulism? Not much. Nick glances toward the counter. That's right. Not too fucking much. The waitress leans forward over the counter, giving her customer a lovely view of her breasts, tucked inside a lacy bra. Ma'am, Ed calls out. Ma'am, we're ready to order. And then he does the unthinkable. He snaps his fingers. He snapped his fucking fingers. I can't believe it. Don't do that, Nick hisses. The waitress looks up. Ma'am? She sighs, heaves her elbows off the counter, tops up her customer's coffee, Sleans the carafe back onto the burner, then sashays over to them with a languorous movie star ease, her hips swaying rhythmically through the pink polyester uniform. She's not wearing any underwear. Nice. She stands over them, pulls a pad from her front apron pocket, a pencil from behind her ear. What'll you have? Really, lady, you've got a nice set of tits. He smells her gum. Spearmint. Tasty. He loves spearmint gum. It reminds him of something. Something comforting. I'll have the soup of the day, Ed hands over the menu. She tucks it under her arm. We're out of chicken noodle. You okay with vegetable? Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. You want a sandwich to go with it? You got your choice of grilled cheese, patty melt, chicken salad, tuna. Uh, I'll take the grilled cheese. She jots this down. She fixes her eerily bright blue eyes upon Nick. This woman knows things. She knows everything there is to know. She's figured him out. Hell, she knows they're a pair of tools. A sheen of sweat forms on his upper lip. I'll have the farmer's breakfast. He hands back the menu. And I like my eggs sunny side up and wet. A gleam in her eye. A snap of the gum. Okay, she says, and walks away.